Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur, and uh, this is interesting, a very interesting video for you to make because uh, another fellow YouTuber is in the news, kind of like how the Rideshare Professor was actually news for a while, um, and I had to make a video on him, now I have to make a video on Uberman, and the news is that there is no more Uberman. Randy Shear has decided to officially close the book on Rideshare. He's moving on. He's going to be focusing on his co-part business. And as a way to finally close the book, not even close the chapter, just close the book, he has changed the name of his channel to, what is it? It's um, Auto Auction Rebuilds. I don't know if it rolls off the tongue, but you know what? I could easily get used to it. Now, I mean, I think this is one of the few times where a YouTuber changing focus is probably going to be newsworthy on this channel. I mean, unless it's like a personal friend who I want to wish well, and I do want to wish Randy well, most of the time, rideshare channels come and go. But this isn't just some rideshare channel. This is Uberman we're talking about. And I know some people don't like the guy. I know some people, frankly, disrespect him. I know some people think he's irrelevant. And you know what? I, I I don't understand it. Because here's the thing. Whether you like the videos he's making now or not, you've heard of him. Chances are, when you looked up Rideshare, his videos was one of the first videos that you saw. Chances are, his video is still going to be the first videos many people see when they search for Uber, Lyft, or whatever. He has left a footprint on this community, um, whatever, that, whatever that's worth, that is very massive and very influential. And of course, I remember when I discovered his channel, I was new to driving for Uber, and I had done a pretty good job at keeping five stars for a good month and a half, I would say. I was like a dang good driver, and then one day, I noticed a star grade go down. And even though I've definitely come to learn that, you know what, the star grade doesn't matter that much, it really doesn't, the first time it dips, you freak out a little bit. So I went to YouTube and I looked up Uber star grades. Guess whose video was the first to show up? It was Uberman's. Uh, he actually wasn't wearing his cap in that video, interestingly enough. And of course, I subscribed and I watched multiple of his other videos. And since then, he's... I think inspired directly or indirectly other people. Um, he, you know, and I don't want to name anyone because I don't want to name say that they were inspired by him directly. But I think if you look deep down, most of us will admit a little inspiration. And he was certainly an inspiration for me. I mean, basically, I was inspired to upload my first um, DoorDash videos because of him. And then I realized that those videos, while they got good views, kind of stood out on my movie and comic and toy channel. So I created a new channel. And my first topic was Uber Eats because I didn't see him talking about it. So I decided to discuss Uber Eats. And, oh boy, I had no idea what I was getting myself into or where I would wind up. But it's been a very fun experience. And ever since then... You know, I kept watching, and I, you know, commented and stuff. I remember the first time he uh, commented one of my mine. I, uh, I think it was a criticism. To be perfectly frank, I think, I don't think he liked the video very much. Whatever one it was, um, I think it was about flying cars or self-driving cars, and he disagreed with me. But you know, whatever. But you know, I was still polite, and um, you know, I always joked that. You know, one day if we ever did a collab, I would feel like I had made it. Well, a few months ago, I finally did a couple collabs with him. And uh, actually, on that same day, I even talked to Harry Campbell. So I felt like I had made it. And since then, we've had more conversations. Um, I know more about the inner workings of his channel than most of you guys because he has confided that personal information in me. And so I will say him... Moving on from the rideshare scene is uh, not surprising in any way. Doesn't surprise me at all. And even if it did surprise me, 
oh well. So why am I making this video then? Well, obviously the first thing is because this is, again, it's newsworthy. Uberman, for better or worse, was the number one rideshare person on the internet. I know the simple driver has 120,000 subscribers, who, and he has a lot more than Uberman. And so does Riding with Ryan. And with all due respect to their channels, which are good in their own right, I kind of felt like Uberman was just a little bit more involved. Like, he was on top of it long before I was, and long before other people were. Before Mark was giving advice on the best ways to utilize your earnings, Uberman was doing that. Actually, before your driver Mike started giving out advice on how to use the app, Uberman was doing it. So, Uberman was there before us, and now that he's not there, it does kind of feel like something has... I don't know. It, it feels like something has changed. And granted... He's not gone, gone. Again, he's rebranded the channel, and I think this is him acknowledging, and he's said it multiple times, he's not really enjoying talking about Uber anymore. He's probably been screwed by Uber more than us, so... And he found something else he loves doing that's making him money, and I can't complain about that. And so all those people who say, hey, he's not relevant because he doesn't drive anymore, you know what, this is probably him saying, you know what, I agree. I don't drive enough to call myself Uberman anymore. So I'm renaming the channel and I'm calling it something else and I'm getting out. So there you have it. There you have it. So, um, and the second reason I want to make the video is like, well, Randy, thank you for all the years you gave us. Thank you for all the advice it gave you. Thank you for all the, um, the live streams. Thank you for all the opinions. Thank you for all the super chats. Uh, we did not always agree on things. We will probably still not always agree on things, but that's fine. And of course, thank you for taking time to do collaborations with me. Um, I even remember one time we were watching a live stream of yours. Someone asked you, um, you know, why don't you do more collaborations? And you admitted, you know, I just don't like doing collaborations. And I remember thinking, well, I guess that's one guy who'll never be on my channel, and yet you were on my channel, and I was on yours, and I definitely appreciate that. Um, I appreciate that because not only because of all the subscribers it brought me, but you know, it was it was just how do I put this? I guess it's kind of like if you're an aspiring director and like Steven Spielberg brings you onto the set to move the camera a little bit the grand scheme of things it doesn't mean much on your resume and yet it's kind of an acknowledgement that you you know you got acknowledged by the top person and so and so yeah i want to thank you for that and for taking me seriously even though i wear the stupid beanie you know um i'm still going to tell the story about the beanie one day i'm just waiting for the right subscriber counter something like that so anyway uh randy the YouTuber formerly known as Uberman, but is now known as Auto something or other. I'm sorry. Um, thank you for the years of hard work put in, into your YouTube channel. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for the live streams. Thank you for, I guess, being my friend. Um, I, I, I think we're friends now, yeah. Um, and I wish you absolutely the best in the future. Once again, thank you, Randy, for everything you've done for this community. Um, and everybody, he's got his new logo up. Check it out. Leave nice comments. And on both videos, blame responsibly. See you around.